there are lot of land acquisition activities happening in the state of Tamil Nadu in the last few years in the name of developmental activities. Say for example in Salem there was a big agitation against the land acquisition for 8 way road. In certain parts of the uh, delta there is agitation against the laying of uh, pipelines and in certain parts the high power lines are being opposed by the farmers. So what do you think is the government doing by implementing such activities which are against the farmers? In our view, in Tamil Nadu, the DMK is not ruling the state. The BJP is ruling the state. There are already three roads to, from Salem to Chennai. You can expand the already existing roads. But he is uh, searching for the new project. This is not uh, to construct a new road. This is to distract the uh, Tamil Nadu agriculture system. This is the fascist mentality. The fascists actually, if they want to uh, distract uh, some others, uh, uh, their opponents, uh, uh, total infrastructure, they will totally close the race of their opponents. Now, the BJP government, Narendra Modi and co, is trying to distract and destabilize the Tamilian culture, Tamilian tradition, Tamilian background, Tamilian civilization. Entire Tamil society must be distracted. That is their aim. That's why they are going to Delta Packets and introducing new projects there, methane project, hydrocarbon like that. Who are asking? Why, why, are, why you are uh, introducing all these projects in the Delta Packet? Delta Belt, Tanjau, Truvaru, Nagai, Trichy. We are, we are not against any development. The, you know, former in Tamil Nadu is not against any development in Tamil Nadu. We are telling the alternative proposals. Let them do. Or before encroach or acquire our lands, as per the Land Acquisition Act 2013, there, there should be one public hearing there. State must convene a public hearing meeting at the spot. Did they convene any meeting? If there will be acceptance, there must be acceptance of 80% of the farmers. Did you do that? See, as an ordinary citizen of our nation, I am ready to follow the terms and conditions, whereas the government is not ready to follow the terms and conditions. You are not convening the public hearing meeting. You are not uh, given me the notification that your, my lands will be see, acquired by you. You have not given me the any advance amount. You have not settled my entire amount as per the law and as per the act which was charted out by you uh, by by having the high power police men you are entering into my land you are arresting me is this the democratic process do you think th this is the democratic process of this state that's why i already told you that the tamil nadu is not being ruled by the admk the fascist forces bjp